While the benefits of a TFSA or tax-free savings account may be easy to understand, taking full advantage of them isn't so simple. Some common mistakes can result in costly penalties or missed opportunities to grow your wealth. Let's explore the top five TFSA mistakes you'll want to avoid. Over-contributing is the most common mistake and there is a 1% penalty for each month you're over the annual limit. This can add up. You can over-contribute in two ways. First, you can simply put in more than your annual limit plus any carryover amount. Or second, and more common, you can over-contribute by withdrawing from your TFSA and then putting the funds back in during the same calendar year. For example, let's say you've maximized your tax-free savings contribution every year. You decide to withdraw 2000 then you replace the money before the end of the calendar year. The problem? The amount you withdrew doesn't get added back into your contribution room until next calendar year. Although replacing the 2000 restores your TFSA to where it was, you are now putting 2000 more than you're allowed to for the current year. The second mistake you want to avoid is naming your heir as beneficiary instead of what we call successor holder. The difference in terminology is important. As the successor holder, your heir becomes the new owner of your TFSA and its tax-free status is automatically preserved. As the beneficiary, your spouse still receives the assets tax-free. But if the paperwork is not completed in time, he or she may have to pay tax on income earned within the TFSA after your death. The third mistake has to do with foreign income. Unlike RRSP, foreign dividends paid into a TFSA are subject to withholding tax. A non-registered account is often a better choice for foreign dividend paying investments because you can claim a foreign tax credit to offset withholding tax deducted. Mistake number four is not recognizing how market gains or losses impact your contribution room. Changes in the value of your TFSA can make a big difference in how much you can contribute in the future. A drop in value leaves less to withdraw. Since you can't re-contribute more than you withdraw, a market loss essentially shrinks the amount of room you have to contribute in the future. And finally, make sure the investments in your TFSA are permissible. Securities that are not traded and recognized in a stock exchange may not be permitted for a TFSA, and the cost of holding a non-qualified investment in your TFSA can be steep. This area is complex, and it's best to consult with a tax specialist if you're considering investments of this type. The TFSA is a powerful way to save for both short and long-term goals, but don't let costly mistakes take away from its saving power. Your financial advisor can help.